happy Monday so today on my agenda I'm making grape jelly and there is where you can do grape juice and so I am using this I'm going to do a double batch it has no calcium in it because in my ball book you can do a quick one and it is just the juice lemon or lime juice and then um, your pectin and then your sugar. I'm using the Pomona's and takes less sugar that way. So I'm going to do um, the grape juice, add my um, lemon juice, my calcium water is already done. This is what activates it and then once that is all brought to a boil in my stock pan here then I will add my I did three quarters and three quarters so a cup and a half of sugar with the uh, um, pectin mixed into it and then once it comes back to a um, boil again I just mix it for one to two minutes and then I'll add them to my jars and then I will water bath them I think for 10 minutes but right now I'm going to go have my <clears throat> cup of coffee, sit down for a minute, got up, this is what I throw all my Keurigs in, and then I sit there and then I'll put them in the trash, so. But Jerry and I, this morning, went out to the garden. We're going to expand the garden. And it is 67 degrees out. It's beautiful out, but that wind is chilly. Today it's supposed to get to 74. Tomorrow, high of 69, low of 48. Y'all, that's cold. So anyways, <clears throat> I'm going to sit here and sit down and enjoy my cup of coffee. And then um, I will come back on later and show you um, the finished product. Hey friends, happy Monday. Oh, first day of school for our grandkids. So um, they are off to school and there are a lot of schools starting um, today. So it was a nice relaxing Sunday. Did not pick up my phone very much. <laughs> Um, and all I did yesterday, of course, neither one of us did a lot. Jerry ran into town like he usually does, and he bought groceries. And um, I did online church, had my devotions, and I just sat here and crocheted on my fairy dust afghan for the good part of the day. And then at nighttime, um, I'll back up a little bit. Um, breakfast was my smoothie and then we ate lunch about two or three o'clock something like that Jerry had made his muffin meatloaf and um, we had mashed potatoes with it um, corn he made um, corn um, corn cake the jiffy mix um, and basically that's what we ate for the day and um, I had a snack of Lucky Charms about, I don't know, 9.30, 10 o'clock. And that was it. <clears throat> and then I knitted on socks. And so um, 
today we got up and it was quite chilly. <laughs> it was in the 50s, wind blowing, so that wind has just made it really, really cold. Um, it's supposed to get up um, in the mid-70s today. Still quite windy out. Um, I, it's like 70 degrees, and I got my windows open too. One beside me, very little, and then the screen door, very little, because that wind is just cold as can be. So, um, we are talking about um, expanding the garden. And so, Jerry and I went out to the garden this morning, and we'll see how this goes, because I'm in the sunroom. I should be sitting over in the other chair to do this. But, I'm not going to do that. Just a second. I just pulled the curtains closed behind me. We'll see if that makes a difference. So, um... Because I got to thinking it would be nice to um, grow enough to can next year on certain things. I know I will not be doing corn again and um, because I can't grow enough of that. And y'all, yesterday there was a squirrel. There was a squirrel in there and when we went out into <clears throat> the garden... You open up the garden gate, and it looked like a crime scene. There was stalks all over. It had found one of the corn um, cobs and had tore that apart, broke a couple of them that has cobs on it. It was awful. Then over at the butternut squash, a little critter came in. Oh, my goodness, just a second. A little critter came in, and took a bite, probably the squirrel, out of a baby butternut squash that was about this big. So, um, and it's a good chunk. So, got to get rid of that one. But other than that, we were discussing, because we did spend money this year to can stuff, we know we will have to buy corn, but corn was pretty reasonable this year. The peaches were very reasonable this year. Um, what else did we buy? Oh, I can't think right now. Green beans. Green beans, I can grow enough to can for us. Um, peas, I can grow enough to can for us. Um, the corn... We are going to freeze. We like that a little bit better than the can. There's nothing wrong with the can, but the corn tastes better to us, just a tiny bit better. And so, um, I sure hope that this is coming out okay because <clears throat> I don't know where else to set in the house because he's in there and with his TV up and you'll be hearing everything that he's watching. So, um, so this morning, because I started, I, I have seeds that I bought for next year. And um, I do know I want to grow um, a flat, or a flat, a um, bed, a whole bed of carrots. And we're going to um, buy some cattle panels. They are on sale right now. Um, $15 for the eight footers, and I think. $20 for the 12 footer that we're going to get. So, um, we're going to add some of that to it. The problem is, is that our garden in the backyard, this is, I mean, I, I understand his concern. It's creeping into the backyard more and more. Um, but I'd rather it creep more wider in the backyard than make it into the front yard. And so would he. So this morning we went out there when it was like 60 degrees out and the wind blowing and it was chilly. Um, we measured things out and we are going to expand only the half, half of it out. That will give me two more full size beds. And then inside the garden where I have my strawberries we're going to um, empty the strawberries out. They're going to go in their own bed in the expansion. And then right where they were in the 
um, tall raised bed that has legs on it. That's going to get moved up on the deck for um, me to do um, radishes, um, lettuce, you know, spinach, whatever I want into that. And right where that was, that will give us another full size bed. And then we will put um, another cattle panel in there as a fencing. So um, it's a lot of work for Mr. Jerry. I realize that. It's a lot of work. But he also knows how frustrated I've been because I didn't get a lot of oh, cucumbers. We bought those too. We didn't get a lot of cucumbers. And, um, <laughs> and I'm not for sure that I want to grow cucumbers next year, but I might. If I have room, I might, because I'll have the fence row now that I can do that. Um, I can't see us going through all those pickles, because Jerry's not a pickle eater. And so, unless, you know, I give some to our kids when they're down. But um, the pickles didn't, the cucumbers didn't do well, the um, acorn squash didn't do well. And I asked him, I said, do you want me to do um, more acorn squash? And he said he'll think about it. He likes butternut a little bit better. But, I, you know, I might have room to try the acorn squ squash again. So we're, we've been, we're going to expand that it's going to be done yet this year um so it can be all done and everything and so it's going to move out an additional 12 feet and then it will be i think another 12 by 10 something like that the gate to enter it will still be there but it will make it like an l shape basically so we've been doing that and then this morning i um Grape jelly has been on my list to can. And in the Ball Blue Book, there was a quick grape jelly that you use grape juice. And it had to be no calcium added. So he picked up a bottle of that. And we used the Pomona's pon <laughs> pectin instead of the sure gel. Because you can use way less sugar in it. So he bought the grape Concord grape juice that's a hundred percent grape juice and um, no sugar added so right now it is in the canner and it is water bathing for 10 minutes so um, as soon as I hear it beep then I'll have to go out and take the lid off so it can cool down for its five minutes so we're hoping that turns out because we've not done it before and in the ball book all it was was that you had four cups of the juice and then you had a lot of sugar and then you had the ball pectin because it's a ball recipe so on the um, pectin that we use there is a thing on there about um, juice and um, you can do it with juice you can do it with the concentrate of course you can do it with the um, actual fruit but if this turns out this will save me so much money that I was going to have to spend on those Concord grapes because they are, they're quite expensive. So um, I have eight half pints or six ounces basically in the um, water bath canner. And so that's all I'm going to do in that today. Um, I don't see too much more of me doing. I'm going to finish... Um, knitting on a sock that's right to the toe and then um, don't have any laundry to do today or any other household stuff to do today so I'm just gonna kick my feet up since it's a cooler day once I get that one sock done have some lunch and then um, either start the other sock or go back to um, doing another round or two on my blanket so but tomorrow is weigh-in Tuesday and 
got on the scale this morning. I should not have got on the scale because it said I was up and, you know, no idea why. There was a couple times, or a couple times, a couple of days, we ate, one day we ate out for one meal, but we didn't have supper. Um, I'm not trying to make excuses. I'm just, in my mind, I'm trying to figure out because, um, like Jerry said, we didn't eat that bad. But if it's up tomorrow, it's up tomorrow. You know, this is this up and down, up and down, up and down. And I'm not throwing in the towel, and I'm going to continue to go. And it is, like I said, it is what it is. Um, but I'm hoping tomorrow to do the tomato soup. That will take um, quite some time to do because um, I'll have to, in the morning, take the tomatoes out of the Oh, just a second. I have no idea what I was just talking about. I really don't. <laughs> um, I had to take the lid off from the um, canner, and now I'm waiting for it to um, let me know again the five minutes when I hear the timer go off, and then I can pull them out of the canner. So, um... I think I was talking about the weight and all that stuff. But lunch today is going to be my turkey salad, and it will have the um, lettuce stuff in it. It will have croutons, raisins, cheese, turkey, um, boathouse dressing, and apple. So that will be my lunch today. Oh, the tomato soup. Um, that will take a while because once <clears throat> I get the tomatoes out of the freezer, I will put them in a, a big old roasting pan because there's 22 pounds worth. And once they unthaw, then what that has done is it will separate the water out of it, which then you can drain the water out. And then um, when you pick the tomatoes up, the skins just come right off. And I'm going to save the skins. I've already, um, when I went to put them in the freezer, I made sure there was no blemishes on them. And I'm going to dehydrate, dehydrate those to hopefully, you know, make some um, powder. But um, that will be almost like an all day or all afternoon process, it's, I feel like. By the time you get everything chopped and prepped and then you get it into the big old stock pot and you cook it down until everything is um, tender and then you run it through the food mill and then you put it back into the pot and then <laughs> you bring it up to boil after you add I think it's sugar and salt and stuff and then you can can it so but anyways I'm going to let you go so I can get back to finishing this and then I can have my lunch and I will make sure to take a picture of the grape jelly, what, what it looks like, and I will let you know how it turns out. I'll have to figure up how many points it is because I'm not for sure. I'll have to ask my mathematician hubby out there how to figure that up. So, But anyways, I'm going to let you go. Thanks again, my friends, and I will... There goes the timer. I will talk to you later.